cloud platform provides a lot of options for storage. In this lecture, we will explore some of these options. There are eight main storage options. This cloud storage, cloud SQL, cloud spanner, cloud data store, cloud Bigtable, cloud BigQuery, persistent disk, and Firestore. These storage products are on the highly reliable and available Google network. However, the latency and performance depends on the regions and zones these are provisioned in. All the data is encrypted to the required standards automatically once it's stored as well as transported. Some of these products let you store exabytes of data and the cost to store and access depends on the storage class you choose. Less frequency equals less cost. This is similar to Amazon Web Services where you have a standard near line and cold line storage classes. Having storage products on the same platform as virtual machines, applications, and virtual networks means seamless integration and the ability to use a single API to access different products. These eight storage products can be divided into two main categories for storing structured data and unstructured data. If the data can be organized into a table structure, that is, in rows and columns, it's structured data. These come in different sizes, shapes, latency, and cost. Examples include event logs, user profiles, sensor data, and financial data. Structured data can be stored in Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner, Data Store, Bigtable, BigQuery, and Persistent Disk. This is six out of the eight storage products that Google Cloud Platform offers. Unstructured data is just any sequence of bytes which could form a video, image, or a document. Data is stored as objects in buckets that's especially in cloud storage. One thing to note about structured data is you can't get any insights from it because it's just a jumble of bytes. Cloud Firestore is a different type of storage and saves data in a document format with a key value pair. In GCP, you have cloud storage and cloud Firestore. Now let's look at Cloud SQL. This is a web service that allows you to create, configure, and use relational databases that live in Google's cloud. It's a fully managed service that maintains, manages, and administers your databases, allowing you to focus on your applications and services. As announced at Google Next 2019, Oracle workloads can now be brought to GCP. Examples include the Philips Hue lighting application that routes 200 million transactions via GCP and processes 25 million remote lighting commands a day. Another example, OneMarket, is a data analytics company that provides unique insights across retail, brands, and stores. They decentralize data management with Cloud SQL by separating its 15 microservices into individual storage services. Cloud Spanner is a fully managed mission critical relational database service. It's designed to provide a scalable online transaction processing that's OLTP database with high availability and strong consistency at global scale. It's used for things like high-frequency trading systems and e-commerce logistics systems. Cloud storage is blob storage. Data here is stored in buckets as objects. This is very similar to the AWS S3 product. It's primarily used for images, videos, and other unstructured data. It can also be used for multimedia streaming. Google Cloud Data Store is a fully managed, schema-less, 
non-relational data store. It's a NoSQL solution. It provides a rich set of query capabilities, supports atomic transactions, and automatically scales up and down in response to load. It can scale to support an application with a thousand users or 10 million users with no code changes. This is great for mobile games, which save state and leaderboards for millions of users instantly with very low latency. Cloud Bigtable is a fast, fully managed, highly scalable NoSQL database service. It is designed for the collection and retention of data from one terabyte to hundreds of petabytes. It provides a consistent sub 10 millisecond latency even though you have petabytes of data. It's a good fit for ad tech, fintech, and IoT type applications. Google BigQuery service is a fully managed data analysis service that enables businesses to analyze big data. It's both a data store as well as an analysis service. It features a highly scalable data storage that accommodates up to hundreds of terabytes and the ability to perform ad hoc queries. The ability to share data insights and queries on multi terabyte data sets is has been a primary function of this product since its inception. Twitter just announced that they're migrating 300 petabytes of data into a big table BigQuery solution. Persistent disk is a durable and high performance block storage. It provides SSD and hard drive storage that can be attached to instances running in either Google Compute Engine or Kubernetes Engine. It's useful for creating backups snapshots, and portable storage. Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL document database for storing, syncing, and querying data for mobile and web applications. Its client libraries provide live synchronization and offline support. Cloud Firestore's security features and integrations with Firebase and Google Cloud Platform accelerate building serverless mobile apps. Now, in order to choose the best possible storage solution for your requirement, you can use this handy flowchart. A few simple questions can help narrow down the choice. You can find this in the lecture resources. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.